The Reverend Al Sharpton is still up to his old tricks, scamming money from suckers foolish enough to put their trust in him. Of course, we all remember him from his time as a race baiter for profit, back during the good old days of Obama's community organizer presidency. Sharpton is back in the news for scamming a man who made the mistake of asking him for help. The Arizona trucker, Reggie Anders Sr., is now out of money to the tune of about $16,000 worth, which he handed over to Sharpton. Anders asked Sharpton to help him resolve a discrimination dispute with Verizon that dates back to 2009, for which Sharpton demanded a cash money payment before he would do anything. However, according to Anders, Sharpton never followed through with any of his promises. New York Times reports, He's a crook, he's a fraud, and that's all he is complains Reggie Anders Sr., who sought out the Rev. Al Sharpton for help resolving a 2009 discrimination dispute with Verizon. He didn't do anything he promised, Anders said Saturday by phone from Mesa, Arizona. Absolutely nothing. Anders reached out to Sharpton early last year on the advice of his own minister, the Rev. David Wade of Phoenix. Wade knew Franklin Richards, the chairman of Sharpton's National Action Network and set up a meeting. Anders and his pastor flew east for the seat down at Nan headquarters in Harlem in March 2015. Anders had no idea Sharpton would take his money and walk. I thought he was an honest guy, Anders said of meeting Sharpton. I thought he would do what he said he would do. Sharpton promised to go to bat for him against Verizon. A trucking client of Anders he had accused of discrimination and breach of contract in a federal suit that was dismissed in 2014. Sharpton would set up mediation meetings and, if need be, put the matter to the media and even blast the telecom giant on his weekly radio broadcast, according to Anders' lawsuit, filed Friday in Manhattan Federal Court. All Anders had to do was hand over $16,000. Sharpton was very clear about how he wished to be paid. Anders told the Post he wanted cash only. He didn't say why. But the Rev was not clear at all about one thing that Verizon and other major corporations had been paying Sharpton and Nan thousands of dollars in donations. Anders said he was shocked to read a Post exclusive in August 2015 about how companies paid Sharpton what amounted to protection money, and companies that didn't donate, such as GM were threatened with bad press or Nan promoted boycotts. I had no idea that he was in bed with Verizon, Anders told the Post. When Anders called to ask about the inaction on his case, and about the Post expose, Sharpton went ballistic, the trucker said. Anders' federal suit seeks $1.75 million in damages from Sharpton and Verizon for conspiring against him. Asked about Anders on Saturday, Sharpton said, who? I have no idea what you're talking about. Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and clicking on the PayPal link down below. Let the world know your thoughts on this. American Conservative Herald helped contribute to this report. It's News Exposed signing off.